Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Excuse me while I have a sip of coffee. Can you guys hear me? Can, is this working now? Because we had some severe problems with, uh, with technical issues and computers and setups. And we did everything we're supposed to do. We did the setup. We did the testing. And it all worked fine in the setup and the testing. And then we get here and we click go on air. And you all know what happened. It's like 20 minutes later, we finally get things working. So thank you for your patience. You can hear me. You can see me. I can see your chat scrolling by so quickly. I don't know what I'm going to, how I'm going to work with those. But I do have 70 questions that you guys have, have asked and, um, and I can start replying to. Hey, thanks for your support. This is crazy, isn't it? Like, like we are higher than we thought we would be. Um, and uh, I, granted, we started with kind of a bare bones amount because we wanted to be, you know, just make sure we could do it. But great. This is awesome. Uh, okay. 25 years of mist uh, is crazy. I am happy to be doing this AMA. I've got Ryan Morzeka is like, I don't know how, like, there he is. I don't know how, like, radio works, but it feels like you need somebody in the room with you. So Ryan's like my guy across the room, across the table, who will keep me from answering things wrong and yell at me <laughs> if I say something I shouldn't say. All right, I'm going to get to the questions because we've got a lot of them. And, um, and then Ryan is going to be watching your chats and your comments. There's a lot of stuff scrolling through. So, so please be patient and we'll try and, uh, and do what we need to do. So all right, boom. I'm going to go to the Q&A first, and we're going to go just the order that they are. Uh, if I can figure this out. Okay. Boom. With the with 19 votes, the top question right now. Well, I got 41 votes. What? Okay. Do I need to refresh? <laughs> no, no, no. Which one is that? I got that right there. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Um. Yeah, they just go with what you got. <laughs> just go with what I've got. Uh, and I, and I'll, I'll, I'll ping things to you. If okay. I need to. All right. I, I would refresh it, but if I refresh, it, refresh we're going to have uh, technical difficulties again. Yeah, and it's right, sorry. Pausing. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. You got me? You can hear me? You can see me? All right. First, yeah. Bandwidth is good. Say it's good having somebody across the room. Mm -hmm. Got my coffee. Look, look. It's a Uru mug. Cool, huh? Yeah. The handle fell off. So I use this one. Don't you wish you had one? We have two left in the vault. Sorry. Okay. Any chance of kickstarting an HD version of Riven? I'd back it. See, that's like asking uh, a woman who is in the process of giving birth if, she want, if she's ready to have another baby. It's probably not the best time to ask if if she's ready for another one of these because you I, we don't just sit here and watch this stuff roll in it's like so much work we're going crazy in fact just yesterday somebody said i need to like help ryan because he's canceling his tuesday lunches with other people he's supposed to go out with but we've been busy this is like doing a project anyway with all that said um there are issues with doing an HD version of Riven. Um, number one, all of that was done on a platform that there's no more hardware to and software to. Number two, the backup tapes were all backed up onto that platform and other things that are hard to get access to. So all those things are hard with all that or, or impossible. With all that said, of course, we would love to have a better version of Riven, an HD version of Riven. You'll have to just wait and see what that means the same way we'll have to wait and see what that means. We are, uh, this whole Miss 25th anniversary has given us a chance to go down in the vault and dig through hundreds of tapes um, that are kind of fun. We don't know what we can get off of those. We've tried things before, we'll try again. So yeah, cool. But I don't know if it's a Kickstarter. I, I don't know how that happens. But either way, yeah, we're, we'd be as excited as you guys would be. Um, all right, next question. Will the fourth novel ever be released? 
Um, <laughs> good question. Uh, I don't know. It, it's uh, the Book of Merrill, and we have a great story. This is like a canned response. We have a great story. I'm and making it, moving it to the front burner from the back burner. I, I hope it is because it's a great story. But it's, um, I have gray hair now and I have a few things I want to do like that are a little more in front of the Book of Merrim. So depends on how long I live, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Morbid, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, go further down okay uh if i trash these let's see show questions to audience no i don't want to do that oh yeah i can do that so i can do that and i can do that those are the two i answered so nice. let's cool. see here now uh here's a good one all right uh yeah. this was a big part of my childhood blah 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 wonder if there's any chance we would see the uh Previous behind the scenes. Behind the scenes uh, featurette. So this is very apropos for those of you who speak French, um, because just yesterday uh, we ordered an a, a, a high eight camera off of eBay because we didn't have a high eight camera to check some uh, some eight millimeter high eight millimeter whatever they're called videotapes that were in the vault and. It's it's really interesting stuff. Like, do you guys remember that original the mist that had that original little making of that was about this big postage stamp size, and it was you know Robin and I doing interviews on it, like outside, and it was a, 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 a little outtake of a belt falling off of me as Akinar, and um, and the scene where you know Robin is making mist and he he's sketching the stuff in grayscale and then the island kind of like extrudes from that grayscale. Yeah. It's all on these tapes that I found, including stuff you guys haven't seen and other outtakes and fun stuff. So yeah, we're, this has given us a chance to dig around in the vault and we want to, we will definitely want to share that stuff with you guys. Um, so cool. Thanks for asking. Um, okay, scrolling down. Let's see what we People got. I'm really excited about seeing outtakes. Good, yeah. good. Ryan's reading me your comments because I'm looking at the questions, so I can't see the chat going by. So he's, he, as you shout your comments to him. Uh, Richardson here, uh, Rawa. Yeah. And he said, I may or may not have been playing Prince of Persia. So. Oh, I saw that video yesterday. <laughs> Rawa said, if you didn't hear what Ryan said, Rawa was in that making of Miss playing Prince, Prince of Persia, and there are other interviews with Rawa <laughs> that he will. He is, if you know Rawa, he is not like a big talker, so it's kind of interesting. And he doesn't have any hair right now because he's like shaves it. And he back in those interviews, you won't believe it because he didn't have much hair then either. Right, Rawa? I'm right, aren't I? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's good interviews. Okay, let's see here. Questions. Um, uh, is there any chance for possible miss six in the future? Um, yeah, so I'll do that. And then, uh, yeah. So, okay, this, this is like, basically the question is, will there be other missed stuff? And the answer to that is, Yes, yeah. but again, it has to do with my age and gray hair and how long I live. Um, but we talk about stuff like that all the time here. Like, what do we want to do next? As it, since we're small and and our population employees goes up and down, um, we have to try to plan based on how successful our last project was. Abduction was great, but it took a lot out of us and it didn't quite pay back uh, what we needed it to. So. We've had to kind of pull back and let the natural ebb and flow take place. The ebb. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one is which, but anyway. Um, so with that, we plan on what we want to do next. We 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 have we have great employees the same way we have great fans, and we lo I love working with these people. So um, 
Yeah, in the future, we've got a couple things. Um, I should say that I really like VR. And I mentioned that, and I know a lot of you don't have it yet. And that's okay. I don't have it at my house either. But it makes worlds that are amazing. And so, of course, somewhere on the plate is, is obviously something related to mist in, in VR. And we have more definite talks around here about those things and where they are in the time frame. But planning ahead is kind of hard because you just don't even know what tomorrow holds much of the time. I will say that the thing we're talking about for the future that's related to mist is we look at it as a larger kind of project, not, not something that would be a smaller scale. It's something we would build up to and, and do really well. Um, if, you know, if, and when we're ready to take that on without giving too much. And I know you guys will get excited about that, but again, it's hard for us to plan. Like, for example, this time yesterday, we had no idea what Kickstarter that it would like have such a bump in it from from the announcements we made and some emails we sent out. So every day is honestly we we adjust to what's going on. So um, yep. So that's kind of the next question too that kind of answered both of those. Um, it, it yeah, I don't want to give too many details about that, but just rest assured that we do talk about that stuff here and and have some stuff in mind for that okay uh now uh boom 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 i supposed to be at least one of the portrait miss book that i already addressed that another missed book um let's go down further what was the very first idea which would eventually grow into mist? Boom, I'll do that. Um, so this is this is an interesting question. It's it's a bunch of ideas that grew into mist. Those of you who followed us over the years, you know that we we did these kids games, and they were very. Uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of continuity in those. It just kind of was a stream of consciousness. And I think, but but it affected us. I mean, the fact that we had a ship in Manhole, we realized how cool ships were and, and the things that Robin did along the way kind of made us want to do those things. And then, uh, or made us, it kind of affected us when we, when we sat down to design Mist. And then um, we knew we wanted an island and we knew we wanted the puzzles to try to fit naturally in that island and beyond that the puzzles were just there as far as we were concerned as a type of friction because otherwise you'd blow through the content so quickly and so it was just a we we, we started designing this as something that we wouldn't use killing you to, to slow you down we would we would use these puzzle frictions to slow you down and we wanted it to look beautiful anyway that's kind of an answer i don't i don't want to go into more depth in depth on that unless you guys want to um yeah okay uh let's see uh yes so this question is uh according to robin's doc um this was, I remember specifically when this happened, we, the initial proposal was just that there was two brothers and you were going to choose between them at the end. And spoiler alert, if any of you haven't played Mist, <laughs> you should just quit now and go play Mist. Um, some, somehow. Uh, or just mute for a bit. Um, anyway, yes, we did it so that the two brothers, you had to choose and it wouldn't be easy to choose. And then geniuses that we were uh, back in those young days, uh, <laughs> we decided that in the ending, it's like, hey, you know, a good movie and a good book always has a twist in it. We should totally put a twist in this. And, uh, and that was our twist. We decided that, oh my gosh, imagine that this whole time you're trying to decide whether you're going to release this guy or this guy. And at the very end, they both tell you not to do this other thing. And, oh, wow, people would love that. You should tell a story that you were just telling me just earlier about yeah. your dad. About oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a cool story. So I'm looking through these tapes. related. To, this is related to that because we had the two brothers, which 
I played Akinar, Robin played Cirrus. And then because this was low budget and we filmed it in our basement, we didn't have any money um, or had very little money. What better choice to play Atrus, our father, than our father in real life? Um, his name's Ron. And I'm looking through these tapes and I've only, you know, I've told this story only a few times. We actually recorded him doing the Atrus part. And he's, for those, a lot of you may not know, he, he's like a pastor. And <laughs> so he's a, re he's a really interesting guy, really interesting speaker. People love to hear him speak. He's really cool. But it's not, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's a, you know, that he, that merges to natural acting. He's more of a presenter and a speaker than he, is, than he would be an actor. And it's, it was fun watching that on tape, but it just didn't work out. And so I ended up playing both roles probably because I'm older and it was easier for me to look older. Um, anyway, yeah, fun little story. People are like, release yeah. the tapes. Yeah, we, we may. I'll have to get his <laughs> permission to do that. But it was actually, oh my gosh, it, it was fun watching it because he's, he's reading the, ver the Atra script that you see in the game, but he's doing it in such a different, different way. Um, I, I think that will be a lot of this stuff will be part of Miss 25. I mean, we got a we got a long time to celebrate here. And part of this is what we can release and what you guys will get as being part of this. I should mention too, the people who've done the dollar thing, I mean, we want to include you guys in a lot of this stuff. So some of this digital stuff we'll we'll be releasing. You guys are on the list. If you put a dollar in, thank you so much. And I know it's because, you know, at this time you couldn't do more or you've got the games or you've got everything you need or whatever. But thanks for the support. You're part of the kind of the team. So you, you'll be getting this stuff too. And if you know anybody who's like, oh, I can't afford all this stuff, tell them to do the dollar because they're, I mean, that way we have, we can be in touch with them. They get this digital download stuff and access to, the things we're, you know, we can let you guys know when we're putting stuff up and it's, it's a great way for us to be in contact with you. So um, it's a small price for a buck, you know, I think, but okay. Next question I have, and I, I'm, I'm sure we have a lot of these is will there ever be a missed movie? I'd like to see the entire series as a feature film, even an uh, amateur film. Okay. And with that, I think yeah. the other thing is the television show. Too. Yes. I mean, just let's right. wrap it all in the one. So, we've had lots of these questions over the years and we've, you guys who have followed us know that it's been up and down, up and down. And I've always said, you know, I don't really understand Hollywood, but every time this happens, um, we don't feel like it's a, every time we go up and then head down again, we don't feel like it's a failure. We feel like we've learned something new about how this works. And so we're up, we're, we went down a few months ago, maybe six months ago. I don't know what, and, and we learned some things. And we started doing more ourselves as a result of this. We started to take a little more control because we had kind of let go and we decided we would maybe try and control a little more of things or kind of set a direction for a story that we thought would be interesting to tell. And so we're back on an upturn that's kind of interesting. Now, with all that said, I'll tell you my, my preferences here are, are to make this a series. Um, I'd love to see the novels as films someday, but the whole idea of these books and worlds and ages and writing and how it corrupts and all that stuff, man, that's a cool story that would make a great series. And so that it's kind of the track we're on now. Caveat is again, there's lots of things that have to fall into place for Hollywood to work, but right now we're, we're kind of excited. So, um, stay tuned and we'll see where that goes. Um, yeah. Wish I wish we had something definite and believe me when we do, I will be the first to, uh, to let you know. Cause I'm, I would, I will be excited about We've all that. Just passed uh, 10,500 backers. Sweet. Yeah. Wow. 10,500 backers. You guys are rocking it. And by the way, we we're, we're trying to push people to that, uh, to the, uh, writers. No. Yeah. yeah writers to your, and, and it's awesome. You guys are, are doing a great job of bumping up there. Um, it, we're trying to make sure we have calls like all the time with Idea Planet, making sure that we're doing these things right for you guys. Um, listen, 
I am I am working. I have video panels on my desk that I plug batteries into, and I'm putting I'm making movies and putting on them and testing them on the video panels that to make sure that we're you know we're doing this right and we're listening to suggestions you guys have said we're doing things that I've kind of wanted to do for a long time. Um, so at the, to get this back to the the writers thing, everybody wants that inkwell to be done well as well. So we're all kind of paying close attention to that. Um, uh, anyway, thanks for the support on that one. It's really cool. You guys yeah, I mean, just the, the fact that it is limited, it, this will not be out anywhere yeah. else. You know, I yeah. think that's important. To no, know. that's a good point, Ryan. We've said this before and listen, it's, part of this is because we're, we're in the game software business and we're not in the, the we're in the, the bits business, not the atoms business. Atoms are, are not our comfort, not in our comfort level. So we're doing this on a Kickstarter. We don't, we don't want to do inventory we, because it's this year is the celebration. We want to, we want these things. We're doing a book with a real linking panel and because we want one. Um, ever since, um, you know, Riam has did his, we all want one. And we decided we wanted the, 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 uh, the inkwell as well, Gen, uh, Gen, Gen's uh, inkwell. Yeah. So those are things we want, but we also want to limit it. I mean, this is when it's done, it's done. We have no grief in cutting it off and saying, yep, okay, that's the end of that. We'll go back to making our games. And this was the best way for us to do it. We don't want to print extra inventory. We don't want to have extra atoms all over our office where we've got boxes of things we've got to send out. That's not what we like doing. So um, so get it if you want it. Um, we really aren't kidding about, you know, it's just not what we do. We're excited to get ours and hopefully you guys will get yours too. So, all right, let's see, where am I? Let's go down the list. Uh, uh, bum, 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 bum. Will you release the firmament demo publicly? Uh, no, mm -mm. no, probably not. The firmament demo was a great. It's it's a mixture of us um, proving some concepts for ourselves, um, both visual performance, VR kind of related things, interface things, seeing what what we could pull off with some real constraints and it was real difficult, much harder than what we thought, but it turned out very cool, but it's such a small, it's a small little snippet and it's not the, it's not ready for public release. So it is fun to, to play in and, and see, but it, it would need a lot of tuning. And what we would hope for with the Firmament demo is we get a chance to do the, the larger, the larger game. So that's what we'll hold out for, um, for now. Uh, Aloha, Rand. Oh, Patrick from evidently Hawaii. Uh, Aloha, Patrick. Uh, can you elaborate on the digital goodies being included with the maintainer tier? And this is, you know, the extra videos we talked about. Um, yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. Different. Scans of things. We have, we have stuff in the vault that we found. The maintainer tier will have stuff as part of digital goodies that will be on the uh in the book mm -hmm. some of them are are uh are even videos that we're doing. i've got the uh yeah lest you think my gray hair keeps me you know away from the office i'm actually <laughs> digging around in the in the uh strata files uh, the old strata vision which are now strata design and i've got missed kind of working i've had to fix a lot of things and clean up a lot of things. But um, so some of that is stuff that, that hopefully, I mean, it, it, believe me, when Mist was done, it was, it was hard to do. It's, and, and it's still slow now. And I managed to clean some, some things up, but it's much better than when Robin had to work on it before. I was looking at the videos again, and he's got videos of just the wireframes coming up on his screen of Mist Island. And the trees are like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, appearing like that. Yeah, it's, whew, we've come a long way. <laughs> uh, so I, I won't elaborate more. Suffice it to say that, that we're trying to be generous with our, with our digital goodies. 
um, trying to get stuff out there so you guys can enjoy it. And we couldn't think of any better time to dig around the vault than the 25th anniversary. So that's what we're doing. Um, uh, let's see, going down a uh, uh, mist. Uh, on vinyl, this is an interesting one. So, um, the mist and riven music are amazing. Uh, we all know that it, Robin did such a, an amazing job, um, on those pieces. That's what made a lot of the, these areas feel so special. Um, and he, they're, they're all his, I mean, that is stuff that he wrote and as Cyan, as he moved away from Cyan and we kept going, he got all the uh, soundtrack stuff. So that's all his. And I, I, I mean, I haven't ch chatted with him about vinyl, but I think he's probably would love that. I know his kids are, were, maybe are, were into vinyl. So, you know, Alex was, I think. So, so possibly he'd do that. You guys should, uh, should be bugging Robin about that. <laughs> Ask him about uh, vinyl on the soundtracks. By the way, okay, see the gray hair? I grew up on vinyl. I'm the wrong guy to ask this because I don't want vinyl. I remember, you know, the scratch, scratches and clicks and I know you guys want your tactile vinyl. No, I want nice, clean, clean sound. I don't have to clean my record. I used to get my record, pristinely put it on my turntable, turn on my cassette player and record it once so that if I wanted to play it again, I wouldn't. Because every time you play a vinyl record, you know you degrade it. You know the, the little things in there get worn down every time you play it. Okay, ask Robin about vinyl. You see you've come to the wrong place. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, could the Mist remastered edition include a multiplayer mode where 100 people parachute onto the island and construct puzzles that must be solved in some sort of battle royale? You must have read our mind. I mean, that's how did you? Is this somebody from inside? Oh my gosh! I uh, announced that's that E3 this year. Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what we were planning an announcement. I guess that's well, okay. So much for that announcement. I guess we're no surprises there. Uh, that would probably that question probably came from Ryan Warzeka. He was trying to get the word out. Um, create versions for Switch. Uh, you never know. We all we. I think in general, there's there's a yeah. question about console. Yeah, and all all other platforms. Yeah. Listen, we have no aversion to any platforms. A lot of this has to do with what I mentioned earlier. It has to do with um, how much time we have, how much money we have not knowing what happens tomorrow um sometimes in fact without going into details i will tell you that just within the last two weeks i was brought into someone's office here and they showed me uh things running on a platform that they hadn't been running on before i mean that oh suddenly <laughs> cool we might be able to add that platform so again we're small and I would love to tell you how we could plan those things and we have spreadsheets of exactly how this is all going to play out. No, we have to really, we act and respond on a, <laughs> on a moment's notice. Ryan knows. Ryan has, Ryan has whiteboards, not, okay. Yeah, Ryan <laughs> has a small whiteboard. Instead of a tablet or a computer, he's been carrying around a whiteboard that's, that's like this big. He just carried, he's been carrying, last week he was carrying it around writing things on it and then erasing and writing because you know we're in flux and that was a useful tool right right yeah yeah wait it was like a giant tablet that only did one thing yeah i got like five other whiteboards right now I'm just filled with yeah that was his portable yeah that's my portable his uh, his portable whiteboard all right let's see here boom 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 uh Oh, this is, I think you've done a beautiful job answering this question without words, but I want to hear it from you. What's your most fundamental drive behind Cyan? Wow. Okay, let's see here. What I makes you tick? Thank you for so much words. Um, that's a 
tough one. You know, I, I think you kind of were mentioning it to me earlier. It's just the idea that, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, let's face it. I, I'm I've been doing games for a living for a long, long time, longer than I, than than most of you are old. Um, and, and I don't I don't want to stop. This is great. I mean, I just told somebody. They said, what, do you do games for a living? I said, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great way to make a living. And then I stopped and said, no, this is not a good way to make a living because I, I feel that way. It's, it's, I love working with these people. We're all like really inspired the same way you are, I hope, by what Myst was and what came, you know, all of those games and how they've evolved because I like making those worlds. I mean, I started with the, uh, you know, way back in this D and D world that I made the first time I learned D and D and I played it, it was like, well, I want to make a world in D and D. I don't want to play it. I want to make one. And, uh, and I, I think that's what drives me. I just like, that's a cool idea. Um, it's, it's hard, but it's a great way to make a living. Um, I also love, Oh, I should say this. I love problem solving. I, there's something really cool about that challenge. So, I mean, and, Look, I mean, game creation, there's a lot of this right now about how hard making games is. You guys should know this. It is really hard. Hats off to anybody who makes games. I don't ever want to diss any game because I know how hard it is. Um, it, it, it takes extraordinary amounts of problem solving. And for our little team here, that's what we do every day. And that's one of the reasons I can't predict what we're going to do tomorrow because I don't know what problem is going to come up and how we have to solve it tomorrow. Um, we have any number of problems every week and it's enough to knock the wind out of your sails if you can't deal with problem solving, but I love problem solving. It's like, okay, how can we fix this? So that's another thing that, that I enjoy. It must keep me going and inspires me to be part of this. It takes all kinds. We don't have, a, you know, not everybody here has to be a problem solver, but some people do. Some people have to finish. Ryan and I are opposites in, in one particular regard. Um, and it whittles down and you need both of these people. I, what I call send anxiety. <laughs> like I will write an email or I'll write a, a lot of the updates you're seeing. I'm writing. You guys should know that I'm not out of the office. I'm part of this thing. I know you guys have seen pictures and said, Oh, I'm so glad Rand's involved. It's not a token involvement. Wait, yeah. One second. The live stream is either down or has ended. So, okay. Uh, That's it. Probably an hour. Or is it a half hour? It's back now. Okay. Oh, we're back. Okay. So you might want to start that. Okay. So send anxiety. Yeah. I guess what I was saying is um, Ryan and I have very different personalities. It takes all kinds to do this. I have what I've called send anxiety. I'm involved. I'm not just a token player on this project. I, I'm involved here. And like a lot of the updates, almost all the updates I've had my fingers in or, or wrote them. Um, the emails that we've sent out, all the stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm part of that, but I have, I like, when it comes time to push the send button, I, I have real hard time doing that. Cause like, I want to check it one more time. Got to check it one more time. Got to check it one more time. That, that can be really good. And it can also be really bad. As you can imagine, it's debilitating. Like, Oh, I just, you know, I got to check it one more time. Ryan on the other hand, <laughs> Ryan does not have send anxiety. He has don't send anxiety. He's like, done send. Yep. Don't yep. look back. Don't check it. Don't yep. look back. It's done. Next. And so the next thing on my list. That yeah. has some positives to it and some <laughs> negatives to it as well. Yes. <laughs> so yes, it does. but it takes all kinds. And uh, I love working with all these a variety of people. It's just amazing. I over the years we've had such amazing people we've worked with. <laughs> Um, we're small now and Cyan is a, is a crazy place to work, but man, we have great people. Uh, but, 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 is there ever going to be a real Riven masterpiece edition? We would have to get real Riven first before we do masterpiece and, um, Starry Expanse is right now. They're working on that as much as anybody is yeah. because we don't have models that they're building that all from scratch and trying to, if we get anything, those tapes I mentioned, if we get anything off of those, you know, maybe we can contribute or help or speed that process up or see what happens. But, you know, I don't have a lot of hope. We're seeing. All right. How much of the, this is a good one. How much of the original Mist and or Riven models, audio textures, were you able to recover? 
Mist is interesting because we actually have more of mist yeah. than we do ribbon, which is weird. We've got um, some of the, one, just the tape I found yesterday, got uh, Robin and me against our blue screen or green screen um, that we recorded on our little eight, uh, high eight camera of uh, doing our Sirius and Akinar rolls. So that's a nice find. I found that in a drawer in the vault. We call it the vault. It's just a, a room downstairs. <laughs> uh, little secrets. Oh, it, it's locked. Yeah, it's it locked, locked up. And I think it's fireproof. It's got like it's got bricks all the way around it. So it's a vault like. Um, so yeah, we found those those things on a tape, which is kind of cool. The Strata models over the, again, this 25th anniversary has been a good uh, motivator to try and recover some of those. So got the latest version of Strata Design 3D, and I'm, I have opened almost all the MIST models. And the MIST models are not as pristine as you would think, because the interiors and exteriors are different. A lot of the animation miles are, the files are separate. Um, anyway, I've opened almost all of those. Uh, they're not, a lot of the things don't, don't carry forward. The water is red because the texture doesn't work. Uh, and other things just don't show up or the textures map not quite right. Um, Selenitic was, was really messed up, but over the course last week, I did a lot of this. I, I got a lot of pieces of Selenitic all where I feel like I've got the exterior in at least a decent shape. So that sounds really encouraging to you guys like, oh, sweet, Ryan could just render these things again. No, 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 no. And Robin, would, brother, my brother, would be the first to tell you. It's like, yeah, there was a lot of handwork on those that, that had to be done. And, and a lot of pieces had to be reassembled. With all that said, you know, I, I, a few years ago, I had some spare time. I may have, you know, rendered a few of those and, and just not knowing if we'd ever be able to get them. But Mist is in probably the best shape for being able to recover things here and there. Don't get your hopes up because it's still a, a big push. Riven, on the other hand, as I mentioned, is, is tough. It's just tough. We've got some raw files, but there was 40 people that worked on Riven at one point, and, and they were all in SGI workstations, and oh my gosh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. So, or not sorry. Riven's, Riven is, is a good piece to be what it is, you know? I think everybody's very proud of that, of that and we don't want to, even up, updated versions of that, I don't think we want to mess with too much. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful work of art. Um, two, 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 two. Okay, that one's a little boring about us getting the rights back. Um, yeah. we, we have good relationship with everybody we've worked with over the years. And it's just a matter of getting people's attention and getting to the right people. And it's a big deal for us, but not a big deal for them. And we managed to finally work our way through it all. And, you know, it's not, a, not something that's free costs. And luckily, we've paid that bill with the Kickstarter. I mean, that was our goal. The original amount we put in there, we wouldn't have paid that bill. But with the amount we've gone over, we have at least managed to pay that bill. And I think we're on the plus side, not as much as you guys think we are, but we are definitely on the plus side. So um, long time fan, skip school. Oh, I like this. Skip school when we released a new game so you could play it. Very cool. Good idea. <laughs> I'm not a school person, so, um, yeah, I skipped school. I remember skipping college um, when I got my first computer and just writing games on it. And this was like in hexadecimal for those of you who are older like me. Like, seriously, I would just not go because I was busy writing a game for a computer that you couldn't sell games on, but it was just so much fun. So skip school kids stay in school don't do drugs but skip school every now and then if you're really well playing games or making games i don't know look just learn something okay learn something that's oh i'll tell you my new philosophy on life because i have an open channel here to speak with you people and you have to listen to me <laughs> watch now the number's gonna like drop off severely <laughs> Failure. Okay, we have a skewed view of failure, people. I'm looking at you. Um, you. The only way people fail is if is if two th you don't do two things. This is the only. It has nothing to do with money. 
Okay. Two things are when you, if you haven't done these, you should consider that you failed. If you haven't learned something and you haven't made the world a little better, you don't even have to do both of them. Just do one of them. But if you don't do either one of them, then you could consider you failed. So I look back at Uru. Okay. That was, that was a tough experience for us because we put everything into that and we borrowed for that. And, and we had big plans for that. And for whatever reason, and you know, there were plenty, um, it, from an outside view, it was, it was a failure from my view. That was not a failure. It's still running here. I am still so proud of what we did. It has nothing to do with money and, ha and, and those things. It was su success. I learned a lot, number one, and I think it made the world a little better place. It was an interesting take on entertainment in, on a computer. So, uh, keep those things in mind. I mean, honestly plan for that. You, as far as making money at everything you do, that's not going to happen. And if you think that's failure, yeah, that's a, you're off to a bad start. That's not a failure. That's just a learning experience that has to do with school. Cause yeah, you'll learn a lot when you're out of school or skipping school. If you skip school, you ought to still learn something and make the world a better place. How about that? Oh, I like that. <laughs> yes. If you're going to get an F in school, if you're going to fail school. Well, at least you should learn something somewhere and make the world a better place. Right. Am I right? That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ryan agrees. Boy, I hope no parents are watching this. <laughs> I hope my, oh my, my daughters are all out of school. So I can say that now. Yeah, now nephews. <laughs> my grandkids <laughs> got my grandkids. Yeah, yeah. My grandson's coming to the office today. Can't let him watch that. He'll be like <laughs> telling my daughter, he can, quit school or something. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry. Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm going to skip some of these. Here's a question about a resurrection of Uru Live. We all would love to see a, a resurrection of Uru Live. We still love the idea here at the office. We still are convinced like, oh, this is such a cool idea. Go into a world. You don't have to level up. You're not about, it's not about a treadmill. You just go in and, and, and every day there's cool stuff happening and new worlds are happening and the people are in there and live people and things are happening. And, oh, and that's a cool idea. Somebody's still going to do that. We were ahead of our time. Um, yeah, it's just a lot to bite off and it would take a lot of money. So we're very small right now. Predicting the future is near impossible. We'll keep it running as long as we can, but it's not, not exactly alive as those of you who play it know it is. But it's still, I, I go in and I'm blown away. Okay. Uh, spiritual successor to the games like Manhole and Spelunks. Um, yeah, probably not. Uh, those were kind of really interesting learning experiences and evolutionary items for my brother and I. I mean, our hearts kind of went into those. Um, I, we, he was learning a lot of what went into mist. I mean, he's an incredible artist, incredible musician. I was, you know, toying with programming and you I hopefully got better at it as we, as we, as we, you know, did those. I think one thing we'd love to do though, is, is get some of those re-released. The Cosmic Cosmo is always one that, it, I mean, it's just everybody's favorite. And I know it's out there in some versions, but um, we'd love to do something more with that. I don't know what, but yeah. Um, Cosmic Cosmo and VR. I just made that up. You know, unless Jess is listening. Jess, <laughs> are you there, Jess? We'll talk later. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, I have to do this one. First things first, you're my hero, Rand. Okay, that is really nice of you. I appreciate it. You should get... I hope you have better heroes than me. I, I feel good. I'm your hero, but I'm just a normal guy, you know, working hard. You're my hero. If you're a normal person who's learning every day and, and uh, making the world a better place. I feel like I should whistle that. Okay. Uh, plans to revive the soundtracks uh, alongside the games, uh, stretch goals, wishes shared by the fans. We read all that stuff. Um, the soundtracks are, uh, Robbins and he, you know, has those available and probably 
you know, especially this year, will make his own little kind of resurrection of those things and do some stuff with those because um, they're amazing. Um, we do have the rights to some of those. Is our stream pretty good or are we off? No, okay. We're good. I'm just reading the chat. Okay. The microwave's on. So sometimes that messes mm -hmm. with things. So, um, uh, okay. So some of these stretch goals, you guys know, we may have already done. We've got max support, for example. I hope you guys know. We'll send out more. Just make sure everybody knows. We're the re-release of the 1993 version of Myst, exactly how it looked and sounded. We're, we're with you guys on this. It's, it's, there are pluses and minuses to the masterpiece and the original. The original had to be dithered graphics. Um, for those of you who don't know what that what that means, it means that every world in Mist could only be rep every every age could only be represented with 256 colors. We had to do every image in that world in 256 colors, and as a result, you get this kind of weird speckling. And we had software that did a good job of it. But if you look closely, you get dithering. It's called dithering, little little dots that try to simulate the colors that are missing. The Masterpiece version, we used the original ones that had all the colors, had millions of colors. And so it looks much smoother. And it doesn't have that same dithering in it. With that said, it's kind of cool to see how we did the original version. So yes, we're with you guys on it. Some of this is the problem of it's old software. It was done in HyperCard or or a, a platform that Bruderbund built, um, and we don't. There is no such thing like as source code. So we're trying to get those things working, and honestly, we're trying to get either one of those working as best we can, and hopefully both. Remember that thing about we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Right now, QA, honestly, Vicky came to my office this morning and they're testing another version of Mist that I think is the masterpiece of edition, but they're going to be testing both and we'll keep you informed on whether we can whether we can do that. And then I touched on the newly rendered stuff as well. Um, uh, full screen graphics and all that stuff. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, oh, this is a cool one. I'm going to do this. I'll do this briefly. Favorite in cavern memories of a spontaneous event or interaction in Uru Live. Um, listen, Uru Live was special. I know a lot of you don't know it. I don't want to spend a lot of time there, but it's this imagine mist and imagine um, like going into the world of Wis or an, an age of mist or a world of mist. And there are areas in mist that you own. Like you go to a little island that's all yours. Nobody's there except you. You own it. And it kind of has a collection of everything you've done over time there. You can see all the places you've been and everything you've done. But from there, you can go to a neighborhood and see your friends. And then from the neighborhood, you can go to the big bad city and, you know, run across homeless people or something. I don't know what. It's like what cities are. You never know what you're going to run across. I'm sure the chat knows you. They're, they're kind of saying, you don't really need to. Okay, okay. <laughs> but for those of you, okay. So it's a cool idea. And um, uh, I... Our view of Uru is really different from your view of Uru because we were in the office watching things happen oh, man. and trying to just, I mean, all, every day and responding because we were doing live acting as roles of characters that were walking through the world. And we were behind the person's back who was chatting with people. And we were, we were watching what was happening and adjusting our script accordingly and then deciding what would happen the next day because of what would happen and trying to you know, massage that. And I, that was so cool because it was a big experiment. I mean, who does that? Who has a live show that anybody can walk in on and see what's going on and, and then change become, it. and I change mean, it and I become mean, part of the, part of the, part of the script, the whole script. Yes, exactly. It, it, and that happened. I that, mean, that definitely happened. Numerous times. We'd be surprised at what somebody would do and the script would change and then they'd become a character in it. Yeah. I mean, an unwilling or willing. I mean, they just became in some ways, a, a celebrity, you know, that, that played a role as well. And that, that was so cool. And then, of course, the test with uh, Wheelie and what happened there. That was an epic moment for us because we, we actually got to test that. Yeah. And we had had that plan from the beginning as, as an event or, or something along that yeah. line as a beginning. From the beginning, we had built years into the Wheelie character. And then um, she died in a tragic event. And... Was unexpected and to, to have that in a game it was it was kind of all inspiring for us to take part in that so that was a big moment anyway um 
Here's another question about the um, um, TV series. And I mentioned it, and this person says, wouldn't it be cool if there's a TV series telling the story of Dunny civilization, its kings, its internal policy struggles? Yeah, it would be cool to have all that. I think there's more to it than that. I, but yes, all those things kind of merging in somehow and being told is really a cool idea. Yeah, with you. Um, will you be able to remaster the flybys for the physical linking book? Some of them, yes. In fact, I already have. I have gone in and remastered the 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 first one as a test. I did I did over twenty five renderings of it as a test, and the final one I did. I think I, I think I told people this. The final one I did um, at just the exact size of the screen, so it's pixel accurate and it looks really good. Landing on the dock, it took um, two and a half days to render. Um, which is cool. It's reminiscent of doing a single image back in the days of Mist. But um, yeah, so it looks nice, and it, I did it in the in a more recent version of the Strata Design 3D stuff, so it looks nicer. And I think I was able to do soft shadows on the tree. So the shadows, even on the dock, when you land, instead of a spiky thing, it's got a nice little soft shadow there. I don't want to change too much. You know what I mean? You know, it wants um, it needs to look the same, but you know, subtle things. Okay. Uh, Probably go for another. We start at what? 11 something? Yeah. We'll go to, we'll try to go to 1230. Okay. If they'll let us. Okay. Um, if there was a mist ribbon film would be shot in first person, how would the stranger be handled? Um, so if there's a mist series, it's going to be, live action not first person no because first person is because in mist i know we called that person the stranger but in mist it was it was supposed to feel like you like you were there it wasn't as much of a role-playing game as a you playing game you landed on this dock you found that book um so the first person worked great in an interactive from an interactive point of view that has nothing to do with what a series would be it's very different um, and it would, it would be a, a, a storyline and the, uh, that would fit a series much better with characters and all that stuff. Trust me. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> um, this TV movie. Yep. we got that one. Uh, I'm assuming you've heard of the missed parody game pissed. You're asking my opinion on that? They it's, should remaster it. It's <laughs> like it's the 2050. You know. Maybe they can get John Good. I mean, he's doing things, I, right? <laughs> I don't know how they got him in the first place, but John Goodman. Was he in a hot tub in one of yeah, those shots? Yeah, he's yeah. like in a Nature's hot tub. In a hot tub. Yeah. I don't know how they got him to do that. <laughs> I mean, missed we got we got Robin and I. Yeah. For uh, piss, they got John Goodman. Like what? Man. Money, I guess. I, I guess. Mean, or a real good friend. It's pretty I funny. Know. It's it's interesting being parodied. You know you're popular if you're parodied. Listen, the popularity of Mist was was insane. I mean, you can imagine a couple brothers, we make this game, and then all of a sudden I walk into you know stores and it's on the shelf. That's just well, and that's cool. I mean, you had a gap app. I mean, oh yeah. How many? How many people? How many people get a gap ad? ad? Yeah. How many people get a gap ad? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's pretty crazy to think. About. It is. It's weird. Here I sit, chatting with Ryan, <laughs> like, living a normal life, just like you guys, <laughs> except I make games. Okay, keeping going. Uh, uh, let's see. You know, after this AMA, you guys will have no more questions. There will never be any more questions. I won't need to do Reddit. I was going to do a Reddit AMA, but I won't need to, unless you think of some more questions. Let's see if I can get to this box. Oh, well, I'm not actually even a third of the way done, so maybe there'll be more questions. Um, uh, do those are a track one game? Boy, that would be, uh, yeah, I don't know. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. We talked about this, of actually having 
a mist game with you know playing playing mist and me doing commentary as we're walking through it or something that'd be a fun thing we'll see we'll see how tomorrow goes we'll see how the day goes and then how tomorrow goes um uh so yeah that's just a comment you're welcome played games with the kids we get a lot of those these days played with your kids and um or i'm the kid or i'm the kid and yeah yeah, we get i'm surprised at the age of kids who you know we see and they go yeah i I remember missed i'm like no you're too young and like no i played it with my mom or my dad yeah that's really cool uh Oh, this is a good one. I can't speak for Robin, but I'll, I'll at least address it a little. Um, so this is a book, The Secret History of, History of Mac, Mac Gaming, which is a great book. You guys should read it. And I did a large interview, and Robin did too. Surprised with Robin's decision to leave after Rhythm because he was unsatisfied with the medium's potential for storytelling. This was something we discussed a lot. Um, it was... This person says they find it ironic, but the fact of the matter is a linear storytelling medium gives you a lot more control of the user. You can, or the player or the reader or the watcher, because you can manipulate them. You can build up to a dramatic moment. Interactive, by its very nature, they have, there's free will. And you can put a cinematic in there that does that, but it's almost like cinematic feels like you're out of control. It feels like it's an exception to the interactivity. And so we always tried to not do that. Um, and we had, you know, various successes with trying to hold the player's attention, but they can walk away at any time. Um, and so character development has to be done in different ways. And, and you tell the story in a different way and in the environment. And, uh, Robin is correct. I mean, it, you know, he went off to tell stories in a more linear, traditional form because it's he had some stories to tell. I loved kind of further experimenting with interactive and seeing what stories could be pulled out of it. And I still love that. I still love abduction. I think there's an incredible story in abduction. And granted, we didn't have a giant budget. I mean, in, in in game making terms, it was basically the same as a mist budget, which was which was fairly small. It was nowhere near a ribbon budget, but but I love telling the story. And when you're done playing that game, it's amazing what story you come away with, in spite of the fact that you can walk away and and all those things. But it's still questionable whether we we have as much emotional uh, control, mm-hmm. um, which just means to me, I want to keep trying. Um, you know, I, I I like that. Uh, yeah, if somebody wants to expand Mist Online, we would love to. It is an old engine, and so expanding Mist Online doesn't mean breaking out the old engine, it probably means converting from the old engine to a new engine, and that is hard. There is so much in Mist Online, that thing is huge. If you haven't played Mist Online, it's free. Go sign up and yeah. get lost. In so, you will not believe how big it is, it just keeps going such a cool area um uh, da, 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 da. uh so firstly uh, i won't say that how difficult to get the rights back not really difficult it was just a matter time of consuming. yeah time consuming and getting people's attention um throw in more soundtracks um you know we don't we don't have a lot of rights to soundtracks because of um, music is a different deal. And because Robin, we, you know, he got the uh, music for Mist and Ribbon. So um, we would love to throw in what we can. Um, and as you can see, we've already, we've already done that with uh, Uru. I love the Uru soundtrack. In fact, I love the, uh, yeah. Have you seen this? Have you guys seen this? Have you seen the Uru soundtrack? It's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> See that? See this wood? See that tree? That wood? That is an actual wood burning by Eric Warman. E Dog. For those of you who are curious, it's a great soundtrack. Really good. Tim did an incredible job on that music. Um, I love Tim's music. Hey, Tim. Tim's not watching this. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, I hope this is informative and entertaining. Uh, I'm trying my best to. I mean, we have 941 people still in there. So okay, good. We're not getting people dropping off. Yeah. We've got a, a few more minutes. I'm going to try to get as many questions as I can in. If you guys, you know, if there's any things that are really need to be answered. Uh, oh, I, I get pop-up messages when people become a backer. Way to go, John Hearn. I probably shouldn't mention his name. Darn it. Oh, he's probably in it's there. Public. Anyway. Everybody okay, it's public. Okay, it's public anyway. Somewhere. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> well, if That's they're not cool. public, it just, it just shows that. That's awesome. Public. Okay. Um, love this series. Oh, any chance on an unabridged audiobook version of the Mist novels? Yes. That is a good idea. We would love to. The Mist novels, by the way, just recently are something that um, we have uh, reobtained the rights to. So, again, every day we don't know what's going to happen, but that is something that's happened recently, and you can see what we've done with them already. It always seemed appropriate for Atris to uh, mm -hmm. for Atris to read that book. Atris just has to find the time. <laughs> And the <laughs> and the atris accent yeah. to read yeah. those, I, but I, unabridged. I, yes, I, I unabridged. Yes, isn't that cool? I heard oh, yeah. the grapevine that yes. atris really likes Hawaii, and if we can get like a spot, we need a separate Kickstarter, a send atris to Hawaii Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah. And then it, while he's there, with the sound of the waves, and the birds and the wind and the breezes. In the background, Atris can re read those unabridged several times. Uh, let's see here. Um, Someone said, Atris sure loves islands. <laughs> oh, Atris <laughs> loves islands. Yes, he does. Islands are fun. Although, Atris loves Spokane. I, had, I was wearing my T-shirt yesterday, my Spokane doesn't suck T-shirt. Um, because that's a thing, that's a hashtag here in Spokane. And we really believe it. Um, although I don't know why we're trying to convince people. <laughs> well, you don't have to come here. Don't, don't, we don't need to force it to be bigger. Uh, da, 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 da. This person was ecstatic, the timing. Oh, I don't know if it's, did we drop? It's showing I'm dropping, but. Microwave's on. Yeah, but you're probably still going. Okay, uh, I think I'm still on. Can you guys chat real quick if you can still hear me and see me? Well, can you see me? Let me see here. Chat. Chat. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Just Good. Going. Perfect. Going back to the QA. Thank you. Uh, Q&A. Um, so, replay for the older platforms. I know. Isn't it cool? I mean, my wife wants to play the games, and she's like, I can't play the games. It's like, I know. I can't even play them. Now we're going to be able to play them. I'm so excited. You got, I, We're like fans of our work, too. <laughs> so we're like all just fans of this stuff. It's it's awesome. Um, let's see. Include concept art from Exile or Revelation. Do we have, did we already get some stuff? Concept art from Exile and Revelation? Um, let's just say there'll be some updates coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm, okay. Um, if I'm looking at something on the screen, it's the questions. Um, Trying not to look at myself. Uh, let's see. Any others that look like they're really good? We're going to wrap this up in about eight minutes. So I'm going to try and find some that are. I'm ready to look for children. Spin-off projects. Uh, this person is asking about spin-off projects. Um, hmm. We haven't thought about that really, I think because we still are excited about it ourselves and seeing what wouldn't be a spin-off, but more of a major thing. The series is one, I guess the series is kind of a spin-off and would tell a different story. A different story, but oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Spread the word. <laughs> I don't know what word you're spreading, but it'll be really cool. Uh, okay. You need to make a pitch video. No. I need to. <laughs> By the way, if I seem kind of like amped, it's because 
right before I did this, I had coffee in my Uru mug because caffeine helps me. I'm an introvert. You people don't think I'm an introvert. I know that. My own wife doesn't think I'm an introvert, but I really am. I'm an introvert. I, you know. Anyway, I'm, I like answering questions. It's fun. And you guys, I'm so comfortable with you. I mean, I know there's almost a thousand of you, and I feel like I'm here with just like one other person. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Play the games after uh, hint. Nope. Nope. Can't do that. I want to ask you. You plan to bring the games on PS4. Um, I mentioned the platform thing before. We're not. We don't want to limit anything to any platform. It, it, it is resources, and I have to say, sometimes we're surprised by resources. You know, you guys know that we did the um, the PS4 version of Abduction. That took a long time for us to do, you know, and the PSVR version, a long time to do. Um, so those are things that we we have no aversion of doing, but uh, aversion to do, but uh, could take time. Um, so we'll find out today or tomorrow. No, not really. Would you please add in lots of high-res digital renders from the games? I would especially love to have images from the Riven calendars. Ooh, that's a great idea. Christopher Cargill. Thank you, Christopher. Okay. I think I have all those Riven calendars. I have models that I did for those Riven calendar images when I rendered them. And that, that might be some of the stuff that we put yeah. with uh, the digital you know, goodies. Yeah, that, uh, that is something that we, we can put as digital goodies, um, definitely. Uh, multiplayer, yeah, we saw that. Uh, should I scroll back to the top? Do we have things that any other things that bubbled to the top while I wasn't looking? Questions that may have bubbled to the top? No, okay, I don't know if I need to refresh or not. Um, okay, reading, and let's see if I can find one or two more questions to kind of wrap things up here. Oh, okay. This is a good one. This is a lure question. Lore. Lore? No. Lore. Yeah, lore. I have a bit of a lore question. Listen to what Atris says at the end of the first game, but it has always been a bit unclear to me. Did Atris actually give Mist Island to the stranger with no plans to return, or did Atris just allow the stranger free run of the books in the library with plans to eventually yeah. return himself? I've yeah. always imagined that each player would, in a way, become a caretaker of sorts of the island. Yeah, I, I think your the way I Robin may have a different view because I don't know that this was ever spelled out completely, but I think Atrus was worrying about other things at the time. And as he was many of the games and needed your help, and as such, with his writing, he needed to stay in, in Dunny and continue writing. But he realized that you had done a great service with what you had provided to him. And he also realized at that point that he could trust you um, to a certain extent. So I don't think it was a ownership thing he was giving you as the player. He was giving you as the player kind of a little bit of uh, time to explore at your leisure um, without the puzzles to impede you, you know, time to sit on the, you know, on the bridges in Channelwood and, and, uh, drink a Coke and, you know, enjoy the view kind of a thing. I mean, that's how we pictured it. See, but um, now you're going to, you're going to cause so many questions. So, um, yeah. somebody's like, so it gets into a ruined state at the end of Mist 5. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. so. Or does it? Well, I think it does. No. It doesn't. It doesn't. It does kind of. Um, but, but we all know that in Mist Lore, it, it's, it follows the multiverse kind of model. And when you link, you link to different, different branches of the tree. So we're just looking to see if yeah. Rawa says anything through the chat. <laughs> yeah. Rawa lives and dies. When I'm answering questions, Rawa lives and dies by the branches of the tree. Okay, that's another branch of the tree. The branch that Rand answered the question wrong. Uh, <laughs> he says, ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Rob was happy or sad about that. About 
without me answering that. So, all right, let's see here. Get, see if I can get a few more of these in. Uh, okay, Ra was okay. He he is. Uh, he gave me a thumbs up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pledge. Okay. Um, this person wants the writer tier, but it's beyond their ability. Do you have uh, anything you could hawk um, or children you could sell? Oh, gosh. <laughs> just one suggestion. Oh, I'm just kidding. They want a, a different way to get the pen, the inkwell and the pen. And the, the, the problem is, and I mentioned this earlier, we don't do atoms really well. It's hard. And we learn important lessons. Remember that whole thing about you haven't failed if you've learned okay. lessons? The last Kickstarter we did, we learned important lessons, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And one of those is like add-ons and all the things that Kickstarter is not meant to do naturally when you do those. Wow. Do things get complicated really quickly? So I feel your pain. And if if we can come up with some solution that also doesn't penalize the people who have put the money in yeah. to, to get that thing, then we'll come up with it. But it's hard. I mean, it's, we don't, I'm not complaining, but we don't make a lot of money on these things either. It's, we're, yeah. we're really, as I mentioned earlier, we're excited about getting them. We are going to make some money. Yes. But we've tried to keep the prices low as well. Um, and that pen and ink thing is, pretty costly for us to make that's why it's the top tier so um uh let's see are you planning on selling cyan ink to uh ubisoft nope nope so well somebody is you know unless the price is right <laughs> uh so uh somebody's saying in chat though game localization um i i guess we should just say we're we're looking through all our localizations yes yeah. Yes. No, the localization question is a good one. We can't, I, I've mentioned, we've addressed this in some of our uh, FAQs. We're dealing with versions of the software that are very hard to modify. So we're trying to wrap them in real efficient ways that make them play well and are transparent to you guys when you play them, because it's the only thing we can do. What that means though, is that we can't go back in and edit the assets. It's, it's really difficult. So, um, the localized versions that we have, we can consider doing the wrappers with, but if we don't have it, it probably won't be there. With that said, mm -hmm. we have to, we're trying to find out what we have and what versions they are and how well they work and those kind of things. So I can't make promises. At some point, we have a matrix that, says, that will say which games and what languages they're in. I think Vicky's already started that. So... So we'll be letting you guys know what's what's there and when and uh, wh what you'll get with those. Um, uh, same one. This is great. My fourth grade teacher first showed me Mist in detention, and I fell in love with the rich and immersive worlds that Cyan has created. Again, my aversion to school. Uh, more power to you. It's kind of a you get rewarded for going in detention. So uh, good for that teacher. Uh, I'm really, I, I really am not. So I really do like school now that I'm, I'm an adult and I don't have to take tests. I guess I would like school if I didn't have to memorize and I didn't have to take tests. I like learning. Like I just want to audit school. That's all I want to do. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to try and wrap it up. Let's see if I got one more. Any, you see any that are, that, that are good and pertinent to end with here? No, I mean, I'm, just kind of looking through the chat. I don't have anything. I mean, we might do one of these again if, if before yeah. the end of the campaign. Right. But. Yeah, this was our first uh, Kickstarter live feed. So we'll wrap this up. Um, I didn't get to all your questions. I thought I would. There was only like 90 of them or something. <laughs> um, I thought I could just churn through these, but I talked too doggone much. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we'll end this one. Hopefully we can do another one. We'll do it from maybe hawaii okay. <laughs> uh, probably not uh, yeah. probably from this maybe, office that isn't even my office maybe the conference room conference room, room maybe outside yeah but yeah i think we would like to do another one and we can hit some more questions try and get some more things maybe have answered some. uh we're i'll end by saying this um 
we are so excited about this one more time because we're fans and we get this thing. I, I am so excited about what movies we can put on this, on this book. Cause I'm like you guys, like the suggestions you're saying, like, can we get that in this book? Can we get this book? Like, yeah, I want those things in the book too. I want to open the book and have, you know, Sirius in there going, yeah, are you in the books? I hope you're in the books, you know, that kind of stuff. Can right? you, maybe we won't do it for this one. Um, yeah. We'll do it for an update, but we, we should probably tell them a little bit more. Once yes, we, we definitely so, will. Um, We're going to give you more specs of the book. Yeah. I totally want to do that. But we have a we have a call even today yeah. that's going to nail down some of that stuff. So we don't want to give you specs till we're for sure. But in the last week, we've nailed down, we've made some changes and the books even. Based on suggestions that that they've had and things that we wanted to do. I mean, we're helping. Yeah. You guys want the same thing we want with the book. Like I didn't want to put, you know, I want to put pictures of little movies I make in there. Right. And open the book and like, it's a little thing. So we're desperately trying to make all that happen. We made some changes even in the last week. So every day things change. So thank you so much. Um, This is great. I hope I answered a lot of questions. I can't say thank you enough. It's kind of exciting because 25 years later and and this is still fun. I mean, it's fun to play the games, fun to talk about them, fun to uh, to see you guys excited about them. And um, I mean, that whole that whole crazy, the ending hasn't been written. I mean, how prophetic was that? You know, wow, how cool. Yeah, I should put that on my tombstone. <laughs> You're not gonna die anytime soon. I don't plan on it. I, I don't. I feel like I'm young. You know, I. <laughs> I don't feel what I look. Look at that gray. Look at that gray hair. My dad got gray hair early too. At least I have hair, yeah, but exactly. it's, it's like white. Man. Anyway, it's not you. It wasn't you who gave me white hair. It's his daughters. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan said it was my daughters. No, they were good. I don't know what I. You know, just genetic. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll do this again. Let's do this again real soon. Bye. If I can figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> oh no, I can't figure out how. What does this do?